Okay, no questions. Right, so let's start with the material. Um, what we start today is the chapter four. More on applications of the integrals. Okay, there are uh, seven sections of the of this chapter, but we won't cover all because we will skip some of these. We will skip this one, like our plane curve. Okay, and. Okay, so I cover only one, two, three, four, five, only five uh, next sections of this. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the this area of a plane region. So mostly we uh, we cover this one. Okay. But what I would like to uh, highlight from the beginning is the the method of the integrals. What mean application of the integrals? Okay. So what we call, um, I just call it methods of integral. Okay, so the first ones is partitions. Because integral is an approximation, basically. Okay, approximations using something that we uh, know how to compute, so easy to compute. For example, in the beginning we start with the Riemann sum. Riemann sum is the sum of, say, area of rectangles. So it's a thing to, uh, to do. Okay, the second is sampling. Take a sample, sampling, and find uh, do just area or whatever uh, with respect to the sampling, one sample, and then you sum it up all together to get a Riemann sum. And last one is limit. Limit as the norm of partition goes to zero or it goes to infinity. Okay, so that's the uh, by limiting you get the integral. Sorry, not only integral but definite integral. Okay, and then last is this compute the integral. Okay, so that's the steps of uh, uh, method of integrals for this chapter. You won't be required to uh, to memorize formulas, just uh, we every time we just uh, start from the start from say not really from scratch, but using this idea. Okay. All right. So let's start with the area. Okay. Uh, the main thing here is that to compute the objective is to compute um, area of a region. Bounded by uh, a few uh, curve. Okay, 
here, just uh, go through some examples, okay? So the idea is something like looks like this one. So we have usually the the simplest one would be you have a uh, say this is x and another curves two curves okay good the graph of uh, functions. All right, and you are asked to compute the area bounded by uh, uh, by these two uh, two curves. So compute the area. And then we have all region, say regions are bounded by. And okay, so first thing is to to be able to picture the the graphs. Okay, so picture the picture. Imagine the the region, or just draw. Sketch curve. And based on this, we know how to, uh, we'll do the integrations. Okay, so in this case, the area would be uh, okay. in this region here. This is R. Okay, so what are we going to do here? All right, so in this case, we uh, now we do the approximations basically. Okay, uh, the thing is, we okay, let's find the uh, the there we go. You need to find these two points. Okay, that's why we need the intersections. And uh, what are we doing with this one? Okay, what we do is nothing but the use the um, uh, what you call uh, partitions. Okay, so this is A and B. And then, as usual, take sample. Okay, so our sample here is, let's see, for example, this one. So sample. Is our sample with the we need the width. The width is delta i x as usual, or we can find also the uh, here the height would be okay. This always uh, upper minus lower. Okay. Or uh, right minus left. Mm 
if you do it a horizontal thing. Okay, so in this case, the upper one would be f of x. Okay, minus, uh, say, g of x. That's the representative, right? So the area here, the small area, small area here is just fx i minus t of x i times delta x. Okay. Uh, so in this case, we would have, okay, so that's sample. And then the fourth one is sum. So how's the summation goes? Well, that's the short. So this is X. So just according to the partitions. Okay, so this will approximate the area. The capital A. And then take limit. So this is three months. Huh? So the A is now becomes equal. Okay. So this limit. This is zero of this. Equations G of XI So that is nothing but this integral. Okay. So then you compute this one. Okay, questions? Uh, the, I think the important idea is you always proceed this way, upper minus lower, right minus left. So here we have upper, lower, upper minus lower. Okay, so let's do some examples. Okay, let's do this one here. But let's do uh, a slightly different way. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Um, this one usually sometimes it's called Sometimes we write this down as delta A. Delta A. So from this one, A basically is the sum of delta Okay. 
All right, so let's uh, find the area of the region between the parabola, this one and the line. Okay, so let's uh, find out how the, the thing goes. Uh, first, we need to sketch the the graph, sketch the region. Okay, so that's how it goes. Oh, let's see. Okay, uh, what about this one here? Uh, this one is a parabola, but sideways. Okay, so usually we have uh, y equal x squared, right? So constant time x squared, but this one x equal y squared. So this, uh, this way it's sideways. Or what I mean sideways, sideways is this. Because it's positive when it is negative, for x, for example, this would be something on the on the left. Okay. Okay, and then subway parabola. Okay, this is line. Uh, we used to write this down as let's see, uh, so three y uh, or just easy just. Plug in x0. If you plug in x0, you get uh, y equals minus 4 thirds. So x equals 0 here. Minus 4 thirds. Okay, for example. And plugged in x equals 0. Sorry, y equals 0. Plus zero y equals y equals zero. You get x equals uh, equals one. Okay. So four thirds x equals one. So we have something that looks like this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the thing is, first try to recognize which is the region that we trying to uh, try to compute. This region would be this one here. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the region. Okay, so in this case, we need to find this one here. Find this one, find this one. Okay. Uh, okay, but if we proceed a Okay, upper minus lower, then we would have a little bit problem here uh, because uh, if you think of the upper lower, then this is always the upper one. Okay, but the lower one, uh, there are two lower ones because the first one is this part, so still part of the parabola. And then the second lower one is this one here. Okay, so let me just make a quick sketch. This is the area. 
So the first one, and then you need to divide into two parts. Okay. So the first part is the upper minus lower is you need to the upper part is the okay so y squared equals four x then y equals there are two parts because you take a square root can be positive can be negative here so uh, and then minus okay so two square root of x and then negative two square root of x. So that's the the upper and lower part. There we go. That's the first one, that's the second one. Okay. And then from here you get that's y equals the line would be um, what is x uh, minus backwards. Okay. Okay. So you have the upper lower here. The upper part is uh, two square root of x minus minus two square root of x. So that's equals to four square root of x. Okay. And all oh, right, so that's only because from zero to all oh, right. So whatever we let's find out the uh, uh, the intersection here. So find the intersections. That means we can, can replace this for x by four x here. X. Or x equals four plus three y. Okay, and so it is quadratic. Minus four equals zero, and we see how we. Uh, all right, so this is minus four plus one. So y equals negative one and four. Okay, so this is negative one, this is four. Okay, so this from not from zero. All right, so this from zero to uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. This is the value of y. Okay. So this uh, negative one. X is x is square one. So this is the point is so y squared equals um, x. Here is uh, x negative uh, y is negative one. You get. You get this point. Uh, so it's one x equals four, and x equals you plug in four sixteen or 
So two. Two. Okay, so we have the two points. So this holds for x between zero and two. So the second area is upper one is lower is let's see the upper part is this one here. It is still the uh, y equals this one the square root of x and subtract the lower one is this line now. That line is four thirds. See, x minus one. There. Uh, that's two for x between one fourth and two. Okay. So then you have two kind of uh, samples also. Okay, so this is a sample. So this is the first part, and then the second part. Sampling. The samples. And now the, the third is the sum. Now you have two sums because you have to do the sum here. Um, yeah, the sum. The sum is this area over here. So you have four square root of x times delta x. Okay. And say this is P1. And the second one is okay. you say P2. Okay, this is between. Um, is between one fourth. Okay, so the this is the Riemann sum. There are two two kinds of Riemann sum. And take the limit. So this gives you approximation of area. Okay. So now the area. limit of the Riemann sum, you get the area. And just going directly, because that's still easy. Four square root of x dx plus one close to two. This yeah. Okay, just need to compute this one now. Okay. So either you compute this directly or plug it into your calculator. All right. All right, so let's do the other way around because we need, here we use two integrals. Okay, now let's, uh, Think about this one here. Okay, now let's do the our partition this way. So sideways, sideways also. So horizontally. Uh, let's see, we, we have computed this one here. Minus one, four. So this is minus one, this is four. 
Okay. So what we partition is this one. second method here. So we take sample. One sample is this. Okay, so first partitions. Second sample. All right, our sample is Okay, as I mentioned earlier, that you have to do, you have to proceed right minus left. Okay. okay. So this one, the height is delta y. Okay. Here we have. Okay, so this is left minus right. Sorry. Here we see that this the, the bound is the the left, sorry, the right bound is the the green one. So the, 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 that line. Okay. So we express in terms of x equals something. Okay. Um, okay, so this way, this now becomes uh, x equals, and the line becomes, uh, that's how we express this, x equals uh, yeah. and the other way around. Sorry, let's repeat this one. Uh, or if you use x, x equals one. Uh, this is four. One plus three fourth y. That's why the right minus all right. So the thing here is that the the right bound always. Uh, this line, the left bound always uh, this curve here, this parabola. Okay. And now we have only one uh, one type of the sample. So it's not simple. Like right? this. Right? This. It's this. Okay, so this a delta a is this one here. This area delta delta is the, the small one. Okay, so now the the area maybe let's see. Approximate area, the Riemann sum. Sum could be into these partitions. Okay. And now we take the limit. Yeah, as well as this. Okay. 
So you get the area. Now becomes equals. Okay, so you we can uh, this always true for y. Sorry, the bound. Okay, so this tells you how to integrate from negative one to four. Y plus one minus four. And get this. All right. So the important thing is how to recognize uh, which way you should go, which one is easier, okay? So sideways or up and down, meaning you do this one or this one. Okay. Usually, uh, usually the case is that one way is easier than the other one. Okay. So either dx or dy. Now uh, to, to whether to see which one's better, then you need to of course exercise. All right, so let's uh, just take another example. So here's the Let's do okay. So let's uh, do this one here. So you compute this A, B, C, D, yeah. express the integral, okay? So let's... Uh, All right, so the, the question is, let's change the question first. Press A, B, C, D. Uh, in intervals. Okay, just uh, without computing the, the integral. Right? Okay, so let's... Uh, of the uh, the area first uh, from this picture you need to find the uh, the equation for the 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 problem is given so we need this equation for the lines okay for this line what lines all right for this one And this one for one, so the lines which uh, passes through these two points, okay, it passes through these two points means that we call this uh, this formula. One x to y two is let's see y minus y one x minus x to minus x. Okay. Remember this formula? 
Okay, so we just plugged in the, the numbers now because we have two things. This is a the first, this is second. So this would be y minus four over uh, nine minus four, this is five. X minus uh, two, so X plus two. E minus minus two. Okay, this is five. Let's give you uh, y is possibly the five. So y equals x move the, the four, six. Okay. The second one would give you. Um, y minus 9 over 4 minus so the negative 5, 4 minus, okay, and x minus, minus 3. It's, uh, over 2 minus, minus 3. Okay, so of course at the 5, this negative. This gives you nine minus y equals x plus three. So we have y equals six here times nine minus six plus six. All right, and we need two expressions. Over here, this is x equals, uh, if you express, square root of y. And here we have, this is not minus though. This is minus x equals, x equals minus square root of, okay, the part. Okay, and here you get x equals y minus six. Here you have x equals zero six minus y. Okay, so we try to do this um, uh, just like going directly. Okay, so A, for example. A, A, let's do this A. Uh, A, the area is looks like this one. Okay, so the thing here is the you, you proceed with upper minus lower, then you have two kinds of lower. Okay, but if you proceed uh, right minus left, and you have only one one kind of thing, this is because it's a right uh, bound, this is a left bound. Okay, so we better proceed with the with the sideways. So using sideways, A is so E Y. So from here that's uh, Y equals let's see this point is four six 
Okay, just plugged in uh, x equals zero here. X equals zero, so y equals six. So then from six to nine. Write something like x five minus x b y. Going this way. Two point. Right minus left. So we have nine. The right one is these equations. X, X equals Y minus six. F one is this one. So, um, This line. So we have uh, 2y minus 6. Okay, so that's the area. All right, what would B? B, if you proceed this way, If you're going uh, vertical, so from this one, you see there are two kinds of lower one. And all right, so you have to divide the two parts. Is that correct? No, no, B is just going this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. So two of lower one. Okay, what about going sideways? Meaning going this way. Then we have to because the 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 right bone, there are two kinds of right bone here. Okay, so you cannot avoid uh, having two integrals in this case. Okay, so either one, that's that's all right. Let's complete this one. So let's do this sideways. Okay, so B is the integral from that point. That point is given. So from four to six. Four to six. Uh, the right bound is this line. Line is y minus six. And it's the left one is. Rate of y. Okay, so. And from here, from six. Six to nine. Uh, the left one is six minus y. And the low, the right one is sorry, the left is okay. And what about C? Well, the air because the symmetry you can see that C is equal to B.
Okay, so you don't need to compute. Redeem now. All right. Let's just look at this, this picture here. If you're going uh, from uh, from this curve, from bottom up, you have two kinds of uh, sample here because and you have two kinds of the upper bound, this one and this one. All right, so what about sideways? When, when you're going sideways, this is the right bound here, but then you have to divide this one because this is the left bound, now this is the right bound. Sorry, the other way around, right bound, left bound. So you cannot avoid uh, using, uh, using two integrals. Oops, but let's see, using symmetry, just compute uh, one half of D. So for example, because this is the upper bound, this is lower bound, that's easy to compute. Only one integral. Okay, so we proceed with dx. So this is two, this is the, uh, the parabola. Okay, so we compute by symmetry. Uh, D over two. So what is D over two? Different colors. So this one is Y equals six, six plus X. This one is Y equals X squared. Okay, and this is zero to, uh, what is this? It's given there. Sorry, going up. So D over two is integral. So going these directions. Okay. Uh, so the here y between zero to okay. so the upper part is sorry this. Okay. So B here is M. All right, so that's uh, how we compute that the a, B, C, D in terms of, express A, B, C, D in terms of integral. All right, so let's uh, take a break for five minutes and then let's uh, continue with the, the other stuff is uh, computing volumes. 